Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sigizzle, and today I have a new video for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get back Windows Photo Viewer in Windows 10. Now, for those of you that upgraded to Windows 10 from a machine that had Windows 8.1 installed, you more than likely already have Windows Photo Viewer on your PC. And to basically make it your default photo viewing program, go to whatever, whatever image you want to see, right click, open with Windows Photo Viewer. And in case it's not here, choose another app, scroll down, you'll probably see it. Now for those of you that clean installed Windows 10 or you have a new PC that you just recently installed it on or whatever, 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 basically if you have a new install of Windows 10 that was not upgraded from a previous version of Windows, then you more than likely will not have the option to set Windows Photo Viewer by default. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you a really easy way to get it back. It will take only a second, okay? So if you look in the description below, there'll be a link to an article from How to Geek. And I'm not gonna credit coming up with this because they wrote the article, but this is the article I use to figure out how to do it. Now, if you want to go read this and follow their instructions, go right ahead. It Either way, it'll take just a few seconds. So if you read this, basically, it's just saying uh, the registry keys to use it have not been activated by default. So basically all they do is just give you a registry key um, to activate it, which is just basically changing one line of code in Windows to allow you to use it. Um, so right here, you click Activate Windows Photo Viewer on Windows 10. You save it, ignore their ads, download it, drag it to your desktop. Okay, I've already downloaded it. It's this right here. Now all you have to do is open it up. You have one file, open that. The publisher cannot be verified. Are you sure you want to run the software? Yes. This is not malicious. This will not harm your computer. All this is doing is changing one registry key in Windows to allow you to use Windows Photo Viewer. I promise you it's perfectly legit. Don't be scared by this. And just hit run. Adding information can unintentionally change blah, 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 blah. It's just letting you know that it changed a registry and it's asking you do you want to continue. Yes, this will not harm your computer. This will not harm Windows. I promise you. Hit yes. All right, so now the registry has been added. So all this has done is allows you to use Windows Photo Viewer. Now, after you do this, all you gotta do is just set Windows Photo Viewer as your default program to view images. So let's go to right click, open with, and you probably may or may not see it here, but definitely for sure, now that you activated the registry, choose another app. And it should be here. Now, the reason why you saw it before for me is because I already activated the registry, and to be perfectly honest, I do know I do not know how to get rid of it in order to show you the before and after, but trust me, it works. And basically you hit, oh, and by the way, make sure you click this, always use this app to open JPEG files. So just so you're aware, for every new type of image file, whether it be JPEG and you know, the others, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know all the different file types or images off the top of my head. But every time you open up a new file type for an image, make sure you click that. That way you don't have to go do this every time you want to open up a uh, image in Photo Viewer. One thing that you should be aware of, though, for GIFs or GIFs, it is GIF, by the way. I'm not going to call it GIF, but for those of you that do call it GIF, okay, that, that's not what this video about. Anyways, for GIFs, right? Um, they won't show up in Windows Photo Viewer as moving, so I do recommend actually using photos for GIFs because they actually will show up moving and you can see what the, what the GIF is supposed to look like. So everything basically besides GIFs, I would recommend is using Windows Photo Viewer for, unless you prefer, you know, photos, but you wouldn't be watching this video now, would you? And just hit OK. And there you go. Windows Photo Viewer, just the way it was in 7 and 8, back on Windows 10. And there you have it. Just basically read the article if you want to, download the registry, activate it, and start setting your images defaultly to that. And that has been the video, guys. If this helped you, leave a like. If it didn't help you, leave a dislike. If you have any more ideas for videos, comment down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment down below. Send me an email or tweet me directly at my Twitter. Thank you, guys. This has been Tigazel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.